So the last couple of days we've been taking this wall out, as you can see. We've removed that fridge from under there and also the old dryer, so they're outside, they, they need to go to the tip. So it's really opened it out, I, I really love it. So we've got someone a friend coming in tomorrow to give us a quote to do plastering. Derek was going to do it himself, but um, to be honest, it's easier for our friend to do it because <laughs> he's got all the tools and everything already. So, but yeah, I'm really pleased. It is just, it's opened it out so much. We've got a big fig fridge freezer that we've bought. So that will be going on that wall. Um, and that will be plugged into that plug down there on the wall. And then these, where are they? Oh, these plugs here, well, we're gonna put up here because we will probably still have our kettle and um, all that sort of thing there. So they will go there. And we were just saying we might put a shelf up there and have a little TV up there so we can turn it either way if we want to watch it in the kitchen or, or in the dining room. And then the switch, the light switch, um, that will be need, need to be moved over to the other side. So um, Derek's got to wire, wire these in tomorrow. <laughs> so electrics are his least favourite, but he, he will do it. We've cleared the dining room um, of all the stuff and uh, just moved the pine dresser over the other side. We've uh, t rolled up the carpet and uh, taken up the underlay. We're keeping the carpet for now because what we're going to do, we're going to have to lay some of the new flooring. Um, so we're going to turn that carpet over to protect the new flooring. So, uh, and the skirt in Derek's cut all the way along so that the new flooring will go under there. So we've done quite a bit in a couple of days actually. And, uh, that's all the wood that came out the stud wall. So Derek's been wiring today so we've got the light switches in, they've just got to be screwed onto the wall. So that's all been taken up there. So we've just got to put the plug sockets on that wall there. So Derek's taking his time over it because electrics are his least favorite to do. So that's the other side of the light switch. So these holes have now been concreted up and Derek's been finishing putting the electrics in and we get this plastered the next thing to do and then hopefully here in the dining room we're going to start take this old flooring out and replace with the new one. Derek finished wiring these into the wall, plugs. We've got um, plaster coming out in a couple of days to finish this off. And we've had to move everything. <laughs> Out of here. So we've got the table and chairs in the kitchen because Derek started laying the new floor. So it's uh, it's a bit of shifting stuff about, but it's it's the only way we can do it really. So, but the new floor is looking really nice. I'm very pleased with that. The plasterer came in yesterday. So that's all been done.
organised chaos. <laughs> so Derek's carried on with the floor there. Took the radiator out, but he had a lot of trouble taking that skirting off. So, uh, so that's going to be, hopefully this will be finished today. Everything is pulled out of the kitchen now except the hob. We've just left that in because obviously it's gassed up so we don't want to touch that for a moment. This was all wet when we pulled this up yesterday so Derek's had to um, fill the holes in and everything. So hopefully today we're going to be finishing the flooring off. We just wanted to get like all the tiles off the wall and re-plaster um, and just get kind of a big messy bit out of the way before we put the new floor down. So. Derek is now starting to make the worktops. So they're not actually glued together yet, but he's just putting them in place and um, getting them all together. The cooker is going in next Tuesday. We've got the gas man coming out to service the boiler, so he's going to put the cooker in at the same time. So we're getting there slowly but surely. We bought a new cabinet for under the sink because the other one literally just fell apart. And we've got a new little one there which is going... The washing machine's going next to that cabinet. And then this new little one will be going next to the washing machine. So we've still got quite a bit to do but we're getting there slowly but surely. This is my lovely, lovely new cooker, which I'm really pleased with, really happy with it. I love it. So the gas man came out yesterday and put the pipes in. I think 
can't see very well. So I did use this last night. We just we had sausage, bacon, egg, and beans. So I just used the hob, um, and it's just it's so lovely to have all those burners. So I'm really really happy with that. So we are now starting to put these in permanently now, and finally my washing machine is in. I haven't done any washing for four weeks. And I have my mum's as well because she's disabled. So, yeah, so that was nice yesterday to uh, get some washing done. So this, the dishwasher should be going in today. We've got a new pipe there and a longer one because um, we broke the other one when we pulled it out. So, yeah. <laughs> We're still in a bit of a pickle, but it is an organised pickle. So, uh, yeah, we're still eating down there. We've still got the table down there and everything. The toaster is up there and the kettle. So, we are getting there. I'm loving my kitchen. It's really starting to come on now. I love these worktops. Derek is hand-building all these worktops from oak. And uh, yeah, he's just making a fantastic job and I love them. Obviously they've got to be um, sanded down and stained, but yeah, I just, I've always loved a country kitchen style and um, this is working out to how, how I want it to be. The kitchen cupboards are gonna be painted. Those ones up there are gonna be uh, taken down. In fact, that one there, in the place of that cupboard, there's going to be shelves. Um, but that cupboard is actually going onto that wall. So we're just reorganising them to how we want them. Um, and they will be painted a duck egg blue, the same. Hi, Noel. <laughs> the same as the cooker, so it'll all blend in. Yes, yeah, so if you look at my, we've got our eBay accounts in the description and the third account is Derek's and he loves to play with wood. So there's lots of homemade or handmade, I should say, um, wooden things on his account. So yeah, if you're interested in handmade wooden items, take a look at our third eBay account and uh, yeah, you'll see lots of lovely stuff on there, tables, lamps, coasters night light holders all sorts so have a look yeah so we've still got a bit of a, a workplace in here <laughs> and yeah we're still eating down there so it is getting there i mean it's just it may not look as if we've done a lot well, derek derek is the one that's doing all the work i'm saying we may not look but there is just quite a lot involved obviously with uh, each thing that you're doing he's do each day and he's doing it on his own. So, you know, it's a lot of little bits and pieces and all the measuring and everything, getting it right. So, um, but yeah, I am loving it. So that's all that matters. <laughs> I can't wait for it to be finished. Yeah.
The kitchen is really starting to come on now. The uh, top cupboards are going up. We've got the hood up. I've just got to wire that in. So we're reusing the old cupboards. Um, but as you can see, Derek's put in the um, pieces of oak in between. Just makes it look really nice. The three top cupboards there, um, we've, those are new. We've bought those because um, obviously there was none there before. So because we've taken out that wall, we have lost a, probably a couple of cupboards. Um, so to make up for it, yeah, we, uh, we bought those three and the one next to the washing machine. So those will be up and over doors. So we just put things up there that we don't use very often, like the barbecue stuff. Um, maybe the vases will go up there. So there's quite a lot of small jobs now. We've got about a week to go before Derek goes back to work, so we're trying to desperately get everything done. Um, but yeah, as you can see, Derek's putting ends on and just so it all comes together as, you know, an oak, oak kitchen. It's all just look really nice. Um, yeah, so it's also painting the top doors outside. They've had undercoat and their first coat of duck egg blue. So it's all starting to come together fairly quickly, but there's just like a lot of little jobs to do now. So, but yeah, we are getting there. <laughs> so this is all clear in here. <laughs> well, not completely all clear, but it's, um, we can see the floor. <laughs> so this is the uh, bottom cupboard doors, um, which are ready, I just covered up them but this is the duck egg blue that I wanted so I don't know if you can see that actually actually it looks a bit lighter on the camera but um yeah that's the colour so they're all done so that's the drawers gotta go back in so we're still there <laughs> both of us are so tired now especially Derek um so this week on Thursday, it'll be six weeks since we've started it. But, um, yeah, oh, I've taken the tiles off the windowsill this morning because we're going to have uh, the oak windowsill. So that will look nice. So, yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> and we've still got to finish, I mean, the hallway's got to be... Uh, have the wooden flooring put down, but I, I don't know whether we're going to get there before Derek goes back to work, but we'll just do whatever we can and then weekends, evenings, we'll just have to finish any bits off. <laughs> the coving above the hood, um, Derek, as you can see there, has tapered the corners off so that it looks the same as the hood. Um, because we've seen before in kitchens where they've gone right up to the, f the funnel and it just looked really scruffy so we thought if we do it that way well uh, as I say it just it looks the same as the hood
I can't believe it. It's nearly finished. It just, oh, I'm just so happy with it. It's just gorgeous. Almost there. 